In this video, I'm excited to showcase the new Send To feature in Substance Launcher. Send To allows you to easily send Substance source assets to other programs in the Substance ecosystem. Today it works with Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and Project Alchemist, and we are going to extend this functionality to other software and integrations in the future. So now I'd like to demonstrate this feature with a practical example. Let's build a material from scratch using Project Alchemist and assets from Substance Source. So here I have the Substance Launcher open and I'm under this Substance Source tab. I'm going to do a search here for Slate and I'm going to end up using this raw Slate material. So as I mouse over the material, you can see that I have my send to buttons and I want to send this over to Project Alchemist. So here I'm just going to click the button and it's going to download and then send the raw slate material over to Project Alchemist. So I'll minimize the launcher. And here you can see under my resources, I have a substance source category, and this is the material that was sent from the launcher. Now I'm gonna start building my material. I'll just left click and drag and drop this material here into my layer stack. What I'm gonna do now is add a filter and I'm going to do a search here for pavement and I'm gonna use my pavement pattern. So let's take a look at some of the properties I have for this. For the pattern type, I'm going to set this here to uh, brush rock. Then I'm going to uh, make a few changes here. Let's increase the uh, brick spacing. And then I'm also going to take the joint height and take that all the way down to zero. Let's see, I'm also going to play around with this tilt intensity. So here you can see the result that I'm getting so far and maybe a little bit of edge roundness and so on. Just kind of playing around with the settings to get something that I want. I think I'm also gonna come over to the base material scale and just tile that material just twice here. Then I'm gonna come down and add some surface poke. Uh, basically, like I said, just kind of playing around to get the result that I want. All right, so here's what I have thus far. Now I'd like to do some material mixing. So once again, let's jump over to the launcher and grab an asset from Substance Source. Okay, so here I'm gonna do a new search. Uh, this time I'm gonna do a search under soil and I have uh, several of these ground materials to choose from. I'm going to choose this forest soil with roots. So once again, all I have to do is come over to my Send to Project Alchemist button and I'm going to click on this. You'll notice here at the top of the tab, we start to see the download progress. As soon as this material has been downloaded, it gets sent right over here to Project Alchemist. And once again, I can see that here in my resources. So I'm going to just minimize the launcher and let's take the forest soil and let's just drag and drop that into my 3D view and let's start to work through some material blending here. So what I'm gonna do to start, I'm gonna set my contrast all the way up. I'm going to play around with my height offset so I can start my blend here. Then I'm going to adjust my material uh, match, my bottom material color match. So I'm just gonna increase this value just a little bit here. I'm also gonna come over to my basic parameters and make a adjustment here to the color. Uh, let me come over to my technical parameters and this time I'm going to just increase the contrast a bit. Maybe play a little bit with the luminosity. All right, so here's what I'm getting now. Something else that I find really practical is coming over to the advanced parameters and adding a height adjustment. So I'm gonna enable this feature and under height adjustment, I can now start to play around with some of my elevation sliders. So my sharp and smooth detail elevation. So I'm just gonna make a few adjustments here to this and I'll increase my sharp elevation. So with these elevation adjustments, I start to get a little bit more uh, form and shape here within this uh, ground material. All right, so now with this in place, I'd like to add yet another material on top. So let's jump back over to Launcher and Browse Substance Source. This time I am going to do a search for pebbles. And I'll just take a look at what I have here. Um, I think I'm gonna use this dry stream bed pebbles. Uh, here I'll click on the send to Project Alchemist. It's going to, once again, download the asset. We can see the progress here. As soon as it's ready, it sends it directly over here to Project Alchemist. Just as we did before, let's get into some material blending. I'm just gonna drag and drop this pebbles into here. I'm going to make a slight adjustment here to this height offset. I'm going to increase my uh, contrast all the way up to one. I'm also gonna come over here to my color. Let's make a little bit of an adjustment. I'm just gonna darken this somewhat. Come over to my technical parameters. Let's uh, increase my contrast and then maybe play around with the luminosity. Let's do something like that for now. And I'm just gonna move my light around just so I can see kind of what I'm getting here. 
All right, so uh, just as I did before, what I'd like to do is come over to my advanced parameters and I'm going to add a height adjustment here. So let's take a look at this height adjustment and I'm going to just play around with these elevation values here. So let's take a look at this and see what I can come up with. So just kind of playing around with some of these guys like this. Okay, I can also adjust the overall kind of height scale to this. So I'm just gonna drop that height scale somewhat. And then again, kind of just go back to playing around with some of these elevation controls. Okay, so that starts to look uh, more in line of what I was thinking or what I would like to do here with this, uh, with this material. All right, so now that this is done and in place, uh, what I could do is just come back over to my filters. This time I'm just gonna add a little water effect on top of this. And then I'll come over here to my water level and just start to interactively adjust this. And I can also play around with my kind of my water darkness as well as the edge wetness parameters here. All right, so this is the result that we get thus far. We were able to build this full material here directly in Project Alchemist. I started with some assets that I downloaded from Substance Source using the new Send To feature out of the Substance Launcher. We brought this content here into Project Alchemist. We did some material mixing. We added some filters to create some various procedural patterns and so on. And as you can see, with just a, a few adjustments, we get a very nice result. Now, one of my favorite parts about working here in Project Alchemist is that, you know, we built up this full material. However, our layer stack, we retain a full procedural workflow. So now we can go back and make changes to produce an entirely different result. Let's jump back over to our pavement pattern. Instead of brush rock, uh, why don't I come over here and just choose something like maybe this European fan. Uh, here I can scroll down towards the bottom where I have my pattern. And then I can start to kind of play around with some settings here for this pattern. So here we can just play around, get something different. But you can see I can get a completely different uh, result, again, because I can always change uh, any of the value or parameters that I've been setting up. And let's try something else as well. This time, let's do a herringbone. So we get this, we can come back, and we can just kind of start to play around here with some of these settings. So we could try something like this. Uh, maybe we don't like the water, so we can come back and adjust our water level. Here we go. So just, you know, with just a few parameter changes, you can see that I can quickly vary up this material. Here, I can just click the Save button at any time and just save this material to my collection. So I'm gonna keep this in my destination ground folder and I'll call this, um, I'll just call this ground underscore herringbone. And so we can save this here. Now, again, if I wanna just go back, uh, jumping back over to my pavement pattern and let's take this here to brush rock. So maybe I'll keep this version. So now that I have this different version, I wanna save a copy of this. So I can use the keyboard shortcut, Control, Shift, and S and that's going to bring up my save to library window. And this time we're gonna name this ground brush rock and we'll save this. So now I have my two uh, material presets. And you can see just in a few moments, we were able to work up some pretty complex, realistic looking surfaces using content from Substance Source and a little bit of magic from Project Alchemist. So now I'll come over here to my export tab and I'm going to export my current view. I'm gonna set this to a resolution of 2048 and I'm gonna set my format to this substance archive. I could set a destination folder and then export. The output selections are going to be what's enabled here. So this is going to create for me a substance material with the base color, normal, rough, metal, height and ambient occlusion channels as the output. Here you can see I've taken the exported substance material file from Project Alchemist and imported that into a UE4 project using the Substance plugin. The Substance team is continuing to develop this feature and we will have more to show in the coming months. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.